Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we have a famous grouse here in my cask. It's a new expression from famous grouse. It's called the Alpha, Alpha edition. And uh, well, this is strange because this is a male alpha. <coughs> Yeah, uh, you, you see these famous grouse over here, and this this is the black grouse with a white feathered tail and uh, red on the on the head, red feathers on the head, red crown. You can see it here on the bottle as well. And uh, all about this bottle is about the alpha status of the male. This A L P H a, so the A is doubled, used. Um, with a misty springtime dawn, the mani mani bleh, magnificent males strut and posture, circling eyes fixed upon each other, romancing their prize, who watches from the wings. The Alpha Edition is a premium expression of the Black Grouse. It's being created in celebration of the annual lek when male black grouse gather in woodland clearings to compete for a mate. However, instead of fighting, like many other species, the birds show off. The lack is all about display, challenge, the assertion of dominance leading to the emergence of the alpha male. Traditionally, a white feather has been a symbol of cowardice but not in the competitive world of the male black grouse, quite the reverse, in fact. As the birds compete for female attention, they put off their chest and splay their distinctive white tails. When matches have been decided and the alpha male emerges, his defeated opponent may leave behind a feather or two. So far, so far from re Representing a lack of courage, the black grouse plume is the victory's prize, the trophy that goes to the most successful show-off. So do we have just a show-off and no content? Mm -hmm. Just an alpha? <laughs> no idea. Uh, the last time I had a famous grouse, I had the naked, the naked grouse. That was a wonderful blend with a high sherry cask content. And... Uh, the black grouse, I think I had it, but it's so long that I had it uh, that I do not really remember. Uh, the black grouse, I think, are the the peated ones. And as they say here, it's a little bit more peated than the others, and the others are <laughs> non peated. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, there is smoke in it, but it's light. 5 ppm, 6 ppm, 7 ppm. It's light and it combines quite well with a mm -hmm, distillery character. It's a blend, so the character of many distilleries. And well, there are, from my knowledge, there's Glen Turret in it, there is Tandu in it, there is still some Highland Park and some McKellen in it. But I guess not too much. <clears throat> so with the time, there is a little orange note in it, quite pleasant. And officially they say chocolate. Mm, no, not yet. Perhaps a little cinnamon. Yeah. Sweet, yeah, really sweet. And then uh, a little smoke in the taste, covering my mouth. And the oranges getting a little bit bitter. No, not bitter, stronger, more strength in orange. So they officially say it's roasted oranges, orange peel. I had never had <laughs> roasted orange peels, but orange peel is is okay. 
the aftertaste is long, not, not sharp, not bitter. This chocolate <laughs> never tasted it. And a little bit of smoke staying in my mouth. Yeah, so this is the famous Grouse Alpha Edition with an Alpha price on it. It's 33 euros, dollars, pounds and 40% ABV. Of course, it's a famous Grouse for the mass market. And uh, well, it's colored and it's chill filtered, of course. It's a blend for the masses, uh, which typically put this whiskey over ice and dilute it quite a lot with water or other drinks. Thank you very much for watching.